Hello there. Welcome to Pixel Learning Hub. My name is Aria and I am a Pixel product specialist. In today's session, I will be showing you how to create amazing digital menus for your restaurant or cafe using the Pixel Digital Menu Board application. So, let's get started. First, log into your Pixel console and head straight to the app module. From the App Store, select the Digital Menu Board app. Here, you will get a range of beautiful menu templates. You can edit any one of these templates to create a menu of your own. But, if you wish to make a completely new design, you can also do that by clicking on this button here. But for now, I will be showing you how you can customize a template. Well, I think I am going to use this one here. Once you click on the template, it will take you to the editor. As you can see, this is the list of items on your menu. Every item name is followed by a brief description. The description usually introduces the major ingredients and the mode of preparation so that customers can have a clear idea of what they are ordering. However, it is completely up to you whether you will add a description or not. To change the details of each item on the list, you can click on this button. Now, let's say you want to change the name to Mac and Cheese. Simply type in the name of the dish in this field. And, if you want, also add a little description here. Now, change the price. The default currency is United States dollar. But you can also change the currency from the settings. I'll show you that later. Moving on, you have got two more options here. You can label any food as spicy by toggling this switch. Similarly, you can also add a veg or non-veg tag so that your vegetarian customers don't end up ordering a non-veg item. These tags help your customers to navigate the menu smoothly. They are also known to facilitate faster ordering. Anyway, let's move on. Once you have filled the details, click on the Add button. And you'll see that your food item has been added to the list. Now, simply repeat the process. And keep on adding new names to the list. You can change the tags from here as well, by clicking on the icons like this. That's not all. The application also allows you to highlight any preparation as today's special. To enable that tag, simply click on this icon. And now if you preview your menu, you'll see that your selected dish has been labeled with a star. Quite an interesting way to tempt your customers, isn't it? Well, the fun doesn't end here. Now let's say you have run out of a particular dish. You can simply activate this switch, and it will show you a sold-out sign next to the item in the menu. Let's have a quick preview again. See? It shows right here. Now coming to the left-hand side of the page. Right at the top, this one is the menu title. Here you can add the name of your restaurant, cafe, bar, or hotel. Just below, you'll find another field. This one is the menu subtitle. Here, you can add your brand tagline, or restaurant location, or maybe, you can show whether it's a lunch menu, dinner menu, or a menu for happy hour. And these lists that you see here are a list of food categories. These categories can range from different regional cuisines to different types of baked food. To change the name of a category, you can simply click on it and type in the new name. You can also delete categories, add new ones, or reorder them like this. So these were all the basic editing features. Now, there are also several advanced modifications that you can perform to give your digital menu a completely different look. For that, click on this settings option. These advanced settings allow you to decide on different aspects of the design, such as the text font, the background color, the font color, 
and the background opacity. Here, if you see, on the top, there is a logo option. You can upload your restaurant logo here. On the left, you have the option to choose currency. All major currencies are listed here. The three switches on top allow you to show, or hide, the food image. The food tags. And the price of the food items. Now scrolling down to the bottom of the page. You'll see some fields for social media links here, like Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp and others. These links will be available to customers, who will browse your digital menu on their mobiles or tablets, using a QR code. If you want to know more about the QR code feature, we have a separate video for that. For now, let's go back to our menu editor page. Once you have listed down your menu items and edited the design according to your preference, you can now add a name to your menu. And finally, hit save. And you are done. Your beautiful digital menu is ready to make its appearance on the menu board. To confirm once, you can go to the My Apps tab. And as you can see, your newly added menu appears right on top of the list. So, did you enjoy this session? I hope I could help you. We have interesting videos for all possible issues that you may face while navigating the Pixel software. For more help, visit support.pixel.com. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep enjoying the magic of Pixel.